So what are the most requested banjo songs of all time? These are some of the most popular songs that you're going to hear uh, people request if you're playing anywhere. They're not necessarily banjo tunes. They might have some vocals in them, but you're definitely going to hear people request these songs. All right. Number one, everybody knows Dueling Banjos is the most most well-known banjo song of all time. But what a lot of people don't know, if you watch Deliverance, you're going to see in the movie, it's a guitar and a banjo, and you're going to be wondering, why is it called Dueling Banjos when it's a banjo and a guitar? It turns out that in 1954 that Arthur Smith wrote this tune, and he recorded it with Don Reno, and it was called Feuding Banjos, and they later sued the people that did the movie, uh, and won, by the way, because they used his song without his permission. So that's why it was originally called Feuding Banjos, because they were two banjos. Number two, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, probably the second most popular, well-known banjo song of all time. It was originally recorded in 1949, of course, by Flat and Scrux. Once again, another factoid that a lot of people don't know is there was another song right before this, about 1947, called Bluegrass Breakdown that Bill Monroe and Earl Scruggs did. The only difference in that song is that instead of the E minor chord, it has an F major chord, and it also has a second section that has chords similar to Lonesome Road Blues, so go check that out. It was also made famous in the movie Bonnie and Clyde. Number three most popular song is Rocky Top. You folks that are fans of the Tennessee football team, you probably love that song. I've made the mistake of playing that for some people that were not very fond of Tennessee football, and they didn't like that. So I always make sure when someone requests this, if it's a joke or if it's the real deal. Anyways, made famous, of course, by the Osborne Brothers, one of my favorite banjo players of all time, Sonny Osborne. What a monster banjo player. Awesome. Go check them out. Number four, Fox on the Run, originally done by Manford Mann, and then later made famous in bluegrass by Country Gentleman in the early 70s, okay? That's a really cool tune. I wouldn't characterize this song as like an easy tune. It's got some minor chords and a really neat intro, so go check that song out. That's one you're going to hear quite a bit, but originally was not a bluegrass tune. Number five, of course, is Man of Constant Sorrow. This song's been around for a long, long time, but it was made famous because of Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? That kind of pushed it back into the, uh, the music scene, if you will. Of course, uh, George Clooney in the movie pretended to be Dan Tominski. This was done a long, long time ago by people like Ralph Stanley, a lot of old time artists. So this song's been around and it's like a, you know, a typical folk tune. It's changed quite a bit. So if you go listen to the earlier versions, you're going to hear some different sounds. Okay. Next one, Will the Circle Be Unbroken. This tune's been around forever. I'll give you a couple of little factoids about, it. I think probably the one that made this the most famous was the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band album uh, that came out and that kind of pushed this one. You know, it had Johnny Cash, it had Earl Scruggs, it had everybody on that album. It was a real famous album. Uh, this song was not, though, written by the Carter family. It turns out that the Carter family kind of took this from an earlier hymn uh, that was done in the early 1900s. Now, the Carter family put their own spin on it, changed some words and all that, but that's the origins of the song, if you will. This next one is one of my favorite ones. It's called Dooley. If you ever watched the Andy Griffin show, there was a band on there called the darlings the darlings were a real actual band they were called the dillards and the banjo pair was doug dillard incredible monster banjo player one of my favorite ones uh but Dooley, what an incredible song that was in the early 60s on the andrew griffin show so that one's going to be requested quite a bit too this next one is another flat and scruggs one ballad of jed clampett if you've ever seen the beverly hillbillies then you've heard this song um some interesting factoids is that there are different banjo players depending on what you're listening to as far as the show goes versus the beginning and end the show. So go check out the Ballad of Jed Clampett, sometimes called the Beverly Hillbillies theme. This next one is not necessarily a banjo tune, but it gets requested basically any time that I play. It's called You Are My Sunshine. And it was written, of course, by Jimmy Davis circa 1940. And it turns out he actually used to tour around here in Georgia guy was like over 100 years old at one point, but he used to tour around and he used to hit up some of the local bluegrass festivals. I never did, unfortunately, didn't get to see him, but he was still alive when I was young and touring. So that's pretty cool. You are my sunshine. Okay, so that concludes my most popular, most requested banjo songs of all time. Once again, some of these aren't really banjo instrumentals, they're vocal tunes, but these are the tunes that over the years of over 
30 years of playing, these are the ones that I have been requested to play the most, especially around people that are not necessarily banjo bluegrass people. These are some of the types of tunes that they've heard. So you really want to put these on your list to know. All right, take care.